Now remember a little bit earlier when we talked about our power rule, I said that x to the n, the antiderivative was x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1, but I said, oh, n couldn't be negative 1. Well, if n is negative 1, we're asking for the antiderivative of 1 over x dx, and you'll probably recognize that that must be related to a logarithm. And in fact, the antiderivative of 1 over x dx is ln absolute value of x plus c. The absolute value needs to be in there because we have issues with the domain of a logarithm function and the domain of the function 1 over x. Remember, logarithms only take in positive numbers, but 1 over x can take in any number except 0. So let's go ahead and use that rule. So let's find the antiderivative of 6 over x dx. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my 6 and write this as 6 times the antiderivative of 1 over x dx. And now I'll apply the rule that we have up here above, and I get 6 times ln of absolute value of x plus c. If we were to check this, we would notice that the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. 6 times 1 over x is 6 over x. So that would verify that we've done this correctly. If I want to find the antiderivative of 1 divided by the quantity 2x dx, I'm going to pull out any constants. And when I pull out a 2 from the bottom, in front it comes out as a 1 half. So I'm left with 1 half times the antiderivative of 1 over x dx. And when I do that antiderivative, I get 1 half times ln absolute value of x plus the constant c. And again, we could check it by taking the derivative here and make sure that it indeed does give us 1 over 2x.